My sister, Dr. Katie Clausen, dedicated her life to helping children. She's the one who nominated me for this, and I'd like to honor her memory by keeping this alive. My name is Rose Jackson. I'm a 2018 Woman of the Year candidate. I am Michael Harden. I was uh, nominated for the 2019 LLS Woman of the Year Award by my colleague Rose Jackson. Hi, my name is Chrissy Clausen. I was nominated for the 2019 Woman of the Year by my sister, Dr. Katie Clausen. I was very excited to accept the nomination. It's my good friend, Kevin, who's a survivor. I uh, had an opportunity just before the holidays to meet Chrissy Clausen, a fellow nominee, and became connected. I followed her story and was so compelled by her sister's journey and her journey with her sister that I decided to recuse myself and join Chrissy's team in honor of her sister, Katie Clausen. I stayed attached to the uh, Woman of the Year campaign. Uh, and, and really, uh, those 10 weeks were, were very challenging 10 weeks, but it challenged me and, and changed me so much that I'm a, a member of the committee. And uh, it is an honor to stay committed to um, the cause as my sister is a survivor, which is why I got you know, connected to the cause in the beginning. My sister, Dr. Katie Clausen, was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma in late 2016. Over 80% of people diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma usually respond to first round treatment, which is a chemo cocktail called ABVD. Um, she was one of the percentage that didn't, and then throughout her diagnosis, her doctors worked tirelessly, multiple doctors, multiple hospitals, to try and find a cure based on the research that they have. There's not a lot of research done right now for refractory Hodgkin's lymphoma patients because the survival rate to first round um, treatment is so high. My sister happened to keep on through not responding to the different chemo cocktails, the radiation, the proton therapy, um, and even the immunotherapy because she didn't respond to anything. She became in a group that most cancer organizations don't focus on. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society is one of the few organizations that does focus on refractory Hodgkin's lymphoma patients. Uh, my sister passed away March 2nd of this year, um, and I'm blessed enough to have met a lot of people along the way, including Michael and Rose, um, who have both joined my team to help me get a research grant in my sister's name. We've learned how important the work that the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society do. Um, they, through education, support of the patients and the caregivers, along with, most importantly, the research grants, um, which are very life-saving. We saw that firsthand with my sister. It may not have saved her life, but it extended it. I've dedicated the next 10 weeks to raise money for LLS. Now that we've committed, we're asking you to commit. For the next 10 weeks, we'll be raising funds to name a research grant in memory of Dr. Katie Clausen. Please join us. Please join us. This is for Katie. This is for Katie. This is for Katie. Please donate.